Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Shasta Oasis 25 RS. This particular model is in the chocolate chip interior. One of the things I really like about this floor plan is the fact it's fairly lightweight, comes in a little over 4,600 pounds. It's a nice bunk model with both your dinette and a couch, and you also have a slide out in here, making it nice and spacious for a smaller floor plan. Let's start off right over here on the dinette. Another thing I like about the floor plan is the fact they give you a campsite dinette in here. Uh, so the, the reason that that's important to me is this is generally where you want to look. You want to look out at your campsite rather than staring out at your neighbors. So that way you can sit here and you can enjoy you know, breakfast, your morning cup of coffee, and again look out to your campsite with that nice big window there letting in a lot of natural light. If you need additional sleeping space, this table does drop down into a bed. Fairly easy to do that. You just remove these two legs here from both the flange and the floor, as well as the flange and the table here. Then the table itself will sit right along these rails. You'll take the back cushions to dinette, put it on top, and that will create your bed. You'll also see right underneath you have an electrical outlet, so if you do need to plug in any electronics while at the table, that is an easy place to do it. Now granted this doesn't make a huge bed, but if you have uh, you know, a smaller person, maybe a child that wants to stay, or if an adult wants to curl up a little bit, uh, that will be adequate. Right up here you see you have location for TV. Uh, you see right there they did put a backer in the wall so you have a place to mount it. And then right over here are your electrical outlets as well as your uh, cable plug in there. Right down below you see you have these cables here that's connected to your multimedia center. This unit right here is a DVD player so if you want to watch a movie you can pop it in right there, plug this into your TV and you're good to go. This unit is also Bluetooth capable so uh, if you have a cell phone or a, a different uh, smart device you're able to connect to that via Bluetooth and control the music. That one does control the speakers both inside as well as the speakers outside. If we take a look right over here, you see your thermostat, nice and easy to control. This one does work for both your uh, ducted AC as well as your heat. And then right down below here, you'll see an electrical outlet. Uh, that's important to note because that way if the kids need to plug in any of their electronics, that's the place to do it. So you have your uh, double over double bunk here, that's what we call it in the industry. It basically means you have a double wide bunk over another double wide bunk. Uh, this is a very common thing to have in a bunkhouse floor plan. It is generally preferred because adults can sleep up here or if you have smaller children you want to fit two to a bunk, you are able to accomplish that. And you will also see you have a 250 pound weight capacity on there. So, uh, you know, again, if you do have a larger adult or a couple kids, it can still support the weight. You'll also notice there is an AC duct up here if it gets too hot, LED light on both the top and bottom, a window on the bottom there which also serves as an emergency exit. Right back in the corner here is the bathroom. You see the foot flush lever toilet, you definitely have plenty of leg room in front, you have great shoulder room in the sides there as well. Right in front of that is your sink top and vanity. You'll see the nice seamless uh, countertop that they have now, that's something they went to uh, earlier this year, definitely a nice improvement over your standard T-mold. And then up above that you also have a mirrored medicine cabinet and you'll notice there's storage behind that as well. You also have a tub shower in this unit. I like having a tub in a bunk house or in a bunk model because if you have smaller kids, you may still want to give them a bath. This gives you the ability to do that. You'll see it does have a hand wand there to make for easy showering and a big skylight up top, which gives you a little extra room, gives you some head height there and lets in some additional light. Right over to the side here, you also have a vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. Right outside the bathroom, over here you'll see you have some additional storage. When I open this up, you see you have nice shelving space right there as well as some drawers here underneath. Now you have a couple options. You can use this for pantry space if you want, or you can use it for kids clothes. Uh, you know, of course the choice is always yours, but it does give you some versatility on what you want to do there. Uh, if you notice right down on the side, you have a heat duct, the furnace is right there in front. And then over to this side here is your electrical outlet. So again, if you need to sit in the couch and plug in electronics, you're able to do that. The sofa here is pretty neat because this center console does drop down, giving you some cup holders, almost making it like a pseudo theater seating. Granted, it doesn't recline, but it does still give you an armrest on either side, which does make it fairly comfortable to sit in. If you want to lay down and relax or you want to snuggle up, you can lift that up and uh, have the sofa just like so. 
These arms here are removable, they pull out nice and easy, and you'll want to do that if you do make this up into a bed, which is also quite simple. It's a jackknife sofa, so basically it lifts up like so, and if you look underneath, you will see the fact it has a lot of storage underneath there. Uh, so that's why I say if you want to use that for pantry, you can put kids' clothes under here. Uh, you know, again, if you want to put bedding and stuff under there, it's a great spot for it there as well. But this just lifts up, the back drops down, and that will create, again, an additional sleeping space. Space. Also window there to let in some natural light and an LED light here right up above. Moving up a little bit further we move into the kitchen. You'll see your Dometic fridge freezer combo. When I open that up you have good space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then as we move over to the kitchen itself, again, as I mentioned, you have the nicer countertop in here. Uh, the thing I like about this is the fact they do give you the three burner cooktop and the nice large double bowl undermount sink. Uh, it's not too often, you know, in this size camper, especially, uh, you know, in this price point, they're able to give you the undermount sink, but I really like it. It's a cleaner look. Uh, it's a lot easier for maintenance as well. And they're deep bowls. A lot of times, you know, a lot of people uh, want the stainless steel bowls. What they don't realize is a lot of manufacturers put in shallow ones to help save some money. Not the case here. These are very usable bowls. And then you have the high-rise faucet there as well to aid uh, while you're washing or rinsing dishes. Naturally, you have to have an electrical outlet. You need a place to plug in other appliances or if you have a coffee maker, uh, that's where you want to plug it in at. And as I mentioned, the three burner at wood cooktop right over here to the side. Uh, underneath, when we open that guy up, you will see that there is storage there uh, in lieu of an oven. Uh, I, per, I per, uh, excuse me. I personally prefer this uh, just because it, you need some extra storage here. The kitchen doesn't have a ton, so I think this is very valuable storage. Uh, and I personally don't use an oven a whole bunch. If you need an oven, we can certainly option that in. But I do like having the storage there. It makes for a nice place for your pots and pans. But underneath the sink here, you have some good additional storage too. You will see the shelf along the back, so you have place for some cleaning chemicals. And then right up front here, you do have good space for a trash can uh, in case you want a trash can underneath there. So we take a look up top, fully functional hood there with light and fan, microwave right here. You also see you have your vent up top here. So if you're cooking bacon or something, uh, you know, that's going to stink the place up, you can use your hood here, turn that guy on. That way, hopefully, you can quickly get the smells out of here. LED light, as you would expect, that way you can see as you are uh, doing dishes. And then right across the top here, you do have some additional storage. Your main control panel you will see is right over here on the side. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. It does have your tank monitoring uh, panel on there, your water heater as well, water pump, and then of course your lights awning as well as your slide out. So we take a look at the bedroom, you will see your camper queen here. Uh, this one will be 60 by 74. On both sides, you will notice you have a nice nightstand here. Good place to put, you know, glass of water, or if you have a cell phone or anything you need to place there, you can do that. You have electrical outlets on both sides. So that way, if you need to plug in a CPAP machine or some other thing, uh, something else, you can do that. You also have USB ports over here again for your cell phones, tablets, things of that nature. Right up above that, you have a mirrored wardrobe on either side. You'll see your hanging rod going across, and then a shelf right in between the two here with an LED reading light underneath. You also have windows on both sides, and right up top in the corner, you will also see TV connections in case you want to watch a show before bed. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features of the Shasta Oasis 25RS. Right up front here are your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Nice and easy to get to, just undo these two thumb screws here, and then you can lift up the door and you will have direct access into those tanks. Uh, right behind that, you have rails for your battery. And then coming up the front, they've actually uh, changed this a little bit. This is a, uh, what they call like a 2018.5. They made some model changes, and this is part of it. They went to a brown diamond plating rather than your standard aluminum look. Uh, they also have a slightly different graphics package on here as well. They put in some more whites, a little bit different color blues in there too. When you come around to the side, we can see the pass-through. You'll notice it does have a covered hinge on there, that way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down and in. And when we open that up, you will see nice big storage. One of the things you will notice is you have access to the storage underneath the bed as well. So three different access points on here, allowing you to easily get to items that you store inside. 
There's a power awning on this unit. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there to help dump rainwater. And you will also notice you have an LED light underneath. That way you can just flip a switch on, have light at night. You don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights, unless of course you want to. This is your entrance into the coach, two foldable steps here, as well as the grab handle to assist you uh, entering and exiting. Uh, if you have gravity filler, this is where you'll fill it up at right here. That will fill up your tanks. And then right underneath there, if you take a quick look at the wheels, uh, these ones are easy lube axles, which are nice, make it a little bit easier on the maintenance side. And you also have nitrogen fill tires. Right over here are your two electrical outlets. Those are nice and easy to get to. And then if you, know, you only want to use one, the other one stays shut, keeping any rainwater or anything else out. If we come around to the back side here, uh, that is that emergency exit, by the way, for the bunk. You can see that there. Nice big window uh, by the dinette. As we come around to the back, this right here is your spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, that is nice and easy to get to. You'll also see right up top, you have backup camera prep. So if you do want a backup camera, this makes it a lot easier to have it installed, a lot cheaper. It's essentially a plug and play, uh, which is definitely a good thing. If you want one, again, saving you money uh, on that backup camera. Come around to the side here, you'll see this one does have a detachable 30 amp power cord. That is where that will plug in. Your low point drains are right underneath here. You can see that is marked there for you. Uh, the fresh water drain is actually over by where the gravity fill was. And then right under here, you will see your termination with both your gray and black valves located there. And right up top here, you have the uh, cable and satellite. That's where that'll plug into. And then your slide system right over here on the side. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Shasta Oasis 25 RS. This one has the chocolate chip interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.